Good morning to welcome to Albuquerque and all of the fantastic birdies that are in my mom's backyard. So we're going to use the band, the long band. I've got three tensions for my bands. I'm going to use the medium one. Um, just FYI, these are also fantastic. Um, like if anybody ever asks you about bands and where to get them, you can absolutely get them on that on Amazon through that link. But this package that I bought, um, before I left because mine broke was uh, TJ Maxx for $8. Yay! For three of them. Okay, so go ahead and take that band, put it right in front. Nice and tall, find those sit bones, find that powerhouse, roll back. I'm gonna find where my hair is. <laughs> Where that uh, lovely hair band is and bring it and keep that band right up above. Now, lift through that tailbone. I'm going to try to get myself a little bit more centered. All right, now tuck through that tailbone. Um, no bridge yet, just tuck and release and tuck and release. So, Christy and I were up, or I was up very late. We were up very late. Got in about one. 30 after picking up our girls and Christy's husband from the airport. So, um, this flow is going to be really just a reawakening of the body. So, tuck through that tailbone and put it back. One more time, tuck through that tailbone and put it back. Now, bring those knees to one side, draw those hands over. Nice and long, keep a little tension on the band. And then bring it back up, over to the other side with a little tension on that band. Inhale, exhale, bring it back up. Now go ahead and lift up into that bridge. Hold that bridge and lengthen those arms up and above. And then bring the arms down. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, bring them down. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, bring them down. Lift those hands up and roll down slow and controlled. So I want you to really think purposeful movement. Think about where each of the pieces are. Where's all of the every bit of the muscle engagement and release. Think about where we can maybe tack in a little bit more. What, what can we move with a little bit more thought, with a little bit more precision? Draw those legs up and down in a march. Now with a little bit more squeeze on that band, opening that band up a little bit tighter, just march. Shoulder blades down into that mat. Shoulders off the ears. Lengthen that spine. Feel yourself really dig deep into this movement. Inhale, exhale. With every exhale, see if you can find deeper layers of that abdominal core. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. Make this move as difficult as you possibly can by acting and engaging as much into that powerhouse with thought and purpose. Can you try to pull those rib cages down towards those hips? Keep those hips in neutral. One more. Beautiful. Now, both feet down. Now, bridge up. Lift that all the way up. Really articulate through that spine. Now, once you're here, stay here and stay at that arms and alternate a pull down to the side. You may end up needing to open to a different place on that band, or if you want, to, want it to be a little tougher right off the bat, go ahead and take and bring that hand up a little closer to the other band, or to the other hand. Let's go four. Maintain the connection of the hand up above and pull down the other side. One more each side. 
and release that bridge all the way out. And then roll through, grab both of those legs in, press those legs up. Put a little tension on the legs, push those legs out just a little bit, walk those hands up and pull that band down. Now hold right here and give that band a good, I can't I keep committing my hand, my fingers stuck inside. I can't roll my hand around. All right, hold it. Now pull 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold that, hold those legs there. Release the head, keep the tension, anchor the elbow down, and open and close the legs up at the top. Press out 10, 9, And one, hold it there. Think about that length of that spine. Find the uh, connection through that tailbone. You're really, you're actually imprinted onto the mat now. Save through that lower back. So keep it down. And then now chin tilt. Head lift, lift up. Lower those legs down. Hold those legs here and bend and press. Ten and nine and eight. Feel that connection through the front of that powerhouse, try to slide and glide that rib cage down in towards those hips. <sighs> and then feel that transverse, that deep transverse abdominis. Let's go four more. I know I can't give, we need a few more, four. <laughs> and three, and two, and one. Bring it up, lower it down. Now hold right here, bring that band in, feet down. Chin tilt. All I want you to do right here, get rid of your band. All I want you to do right here is practice that chin tilt head lift. Okay? So you're just going to take the chin, draw it down towards the chest. And then pick it back up. Okay? So the head stays on the floor. Chin tilt. Open those shoulders. Kind of pull those fingers down to those heels. Release. It's like you're saying yes, the bottom of the yes. Chin tilt bottom of the yes. Now from here, glide. So feel yourself try to take the front of the body and shrink it down towards the, the belly button. At the same time, we're allowing the front of the body to connect like a string to the front of the head and pull the head up with the string coming from the front of the body. Pull. Lower it back down, trying to release it one at a time. And down. So chin tilt, head lift should come from here, not from the neck. Okay? All right. Yay. And back down. One more. Chin tilt, shoulders, head lift. Now squeeze through the glutes and ask the inside of those thighs to play. Fingertips behind the ears now. Just drape the band across. Fingertips behind the ears now. Lift those legs up, both. Hold. Flex at that foot. Send the legs together and the heels together, toes apart, Pilates V position. Press those legs out into a frog. Bring them back home. Now I want you to look for the diamond shape that you're creating. So press out, diamond shape, and home. Press out. Home, diamond shape, and home. So there's like a little pause. Do it again. Press out, diamond shape, and home. Beautiful, go four more, out, diamond shape, and home. Watch your feet right here. See if you've got one side a little bit more um, externally rotated than the other. See if you can catch both of them to look very similar. In, in, out, in, in, two more. I'm doing really bad at counting this morning. <laughs> out, in, in, and release. <sighs> wiggle, wiggle. All right. Taking yourself over to your side. And I'm going to put my hair back up. So we're going to right, lay over to our side. <sighs> and then from here, you're going to take that band. Put it just right in front, okay? 
Now take the um, feet, lift the feet up. You're gonna be up through the side of that oblique. Lift it up, um, the side of that um, cl clamshell, and now lift and lower those legs. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, rib to hip, two, and one. Keep them there. Take the band, anchor it down. Take the band up above. Add tricep. Lift 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold the band. Leg down, foot out. Now lift and lower. 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, two, and one. Bring it back home. Back into that clamshell. Now this time clamshell lift. Ten, and nine, and eight, and seven, six, and five. So there's a slight little lift there. Four but definitely clamshell open the close. Three, two, and one. Ha ha, beautiful job. 30 for those bad boy triceps, nice job. Turn it around, turn it over. Find that long plank, okay? So find your long plank. Take that band, let's put that band down. Hands on the plank, on the band. Into your, um, into your lovely long plank, hold it. Now your hand that you did not do the tricep on a second ago, put that hand in the center. Rotate around, pick up the end of that um, band. You may have to adjust a little bit on that band. That's okay. Pick that band up, um, it's overhead, and you're pressing into that tricep. 10, nine, Feel that rib cage loop in that spine too. One, bring it home. Bring that band home. Just kind of fluff that length around so you get length on the other side. Hand goes back in. Band goes back up. Put it so that the thumb is underneath the thumb underneath the band. Okay, not on top of the band. So you don't pull that thumb up. All right, up. And tricep. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Feel yourself lengthen that spine. Five. Undercarriage of those ribs. Four. Three. Two. One. Home. Find that plank. Find that plank. Bring that band into the center. Find that plank. Now, knee in. Rotate. In and back, knee in, rotate, in and back, knee in, rotate, in and back, knee in, rotate, in and back, one more each side, in, rotate, in and back, in, rotate, in and back, and release. <sighs> nice job, up and over. Just reset, okay? So band in front. Don't worry about the band for a second. Feet back in your claw shell, clam shell shape. <laughs> That's like Susie sells seashells by the seashore. You're in a clam shell shape. And now lift and lower, up and down. Take rib to hip. And seven. And six. Five, four, three, take through those obliques, two, really power through a lot of purposeful movement in there, one, the more you think about the exercise, the more you think about the muscle engagement, the more you get out of it, all right, so hold that band in, lift those legs back up, and here we go, 
10. Now that other um, tricep, 9 and 8 and 7, rib to hip and 6, really think oblique and 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. Lay that top leg out there in tricep and lift, 10. Now, lift that bottom leg, keep that open, or keep that activated now. Tricep with the up and down lift, nine and eight. So you have a slight lift and seven through that oblique with a clamshell open and close. Six and five and four and three and two and one and release it home. <sighs> Low triceps, right? All right, back in. So lay that back out, long band, one way, long band, one way. Didn't catch that the last time I didn't set it up correct for my fit for myself. So I'll make sure you do it. Okay. So up we go into that nice long plank. So think rib to hip, lengthen that spine nice and long, lengthen that spine nice and long and really engage through the front of that core. Drawing your ribs and hips in, belly button, squeeze through those glutes, lengthen that spine, draw those shoulders off those ears, almost press a little bit through, and then bring that hand in, get that uh, band up, and get that thumb underneath, underneath, feed the band through. Now triceps, 10, 9, 8, bend and extend, 7, lengthen the body, 6, Three, two, and one. Home. Little loosey goosey of that band. Move them around. Do what you need to. Lengthen them out. Over to the other side. Feed through that thumb. Up we go. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five. Lengthen that spine. Four. Get those ribs in. Three. Shoulders off those ears, two, and one, and in, and home. Whew. Okay, adding in, so this one we don't need that band for, adding in. Take pauses if you need to, take pauses if you need to. Here we go, okay. So knee in, over. Now, we're gonna lengthen out, bring it in, and home. In, rotate, lengthen, in, and home. As you rotate and you're extending, this front arm can extend out to it if you like, or just lift just slightly, or keep them down. In, out, in, and home. In, out, in, and home. Looking for those shoulders. I know the um, perception of where my camera is. It doesn't look like it, but try to keep those hands right underneath those shoulders in out and home one more each side in press out in and home one more in press out in and home and knees down hips back child pose All right, down to your belly real quick while we're here. Down to your belly. All right, so from your belly. Okay. Hand in front, legs back. So this one's gonna be, see if you can see what we're gonna do here. So you reach back, you grab one hand, one leg. Press, calm down, press and lift up, hold. Your other leg is straight back there. You only have a hold of one hand. One leg, hold it. Now inhale, lift. Press into that front hand. Exhale and release. Inhale, lift. Press into that front hand. Now push into your hand that's got the leg and pull at the same time. And release. Two more. Inhale. Up and release. Exhale and up. And release and switch. 
grab, hold, and inhale, press up and release. Really open that shoulder up. You're pressing into the front hand. Inhale, up, pushing into the back hand and pulling with the back hand and release. Inhale, lift up. Rib cages down, shoulders off the ears, knit into those ribs. Try to find that, that belly button isn't pressing heavily into the mat. One more, inhale, lift up. Exhale and release. And up, toes together, knees apart and into your child's pose. And up and over. Hands in. Bend. Roll back. Okay. So this one has, um, this one is called um, neck pull. I know that sounds awful as far as like, we don't want you to pull your neck and all that jazz, but um, it's got a fantastic stretch towards the fan, towards the end of it. Um, when you roll up, you're gonna roll up and look for the tall top of the um, sit bones. From there, we're gonna draw our, ourselves over towards our toes. Then we articulate back up and then we roll down, all right? So band just across the hips for just a second. Um, fingertips, this one you actually do go ahead and take your hands behind the head. Now, it also limits though because then you don't have your hands to bring yourself up, all right? So take those hands wherever you need to to bring yourself up and the legs in, all right? So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. and up okay so lots happening down there we started from down below so that made that very difficult so please take in wherever you need to all right from here we're nice and tall up adductors inside you should feel like you're holding a ball right in between the thighs right here take yourself forward that's where this neck pull comes from you reach out it's not try not to press down with yourself but out to your toes does that make sense you're pressing and pulling yourself out towards your toes then you're stack 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 stacking up adductors play make sure your knees aren't knocking out to the side and then from here we roll back out of it all right so we're gonna play with that band now okay so anywhere in here and at the band if you want to change anything add anything um adjust anything and if you want me to watch later, go for it. If you want me to uh, take a peek, video yourself, send it to me. Let's 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 do it. Let's get into it. Okay. So hands up. Oh, the flies are out. We're almost there. Big chin tilt. Head lift. Follow the band. Add a little pull on that band, and it will help you come up and up. Now from here, take that band, place it right behind the head, and then. Nice and tall powerhouse, shoulders down. Come over and out towards those toes. Reach those fingers. So you've got the band, it's kind of connected to the base of the skull. Please don't pull because you'll just rip through the hair. So just, just a slight pull down and a pull forward with the crown of the head. Now stack, 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 stack up. Hold and roll back down. We articulate and again the band can go anywhere during any of this it can be in front um, no band hands behind the head wherever you need to hands go underneath the thighs three more through your movement inhale exhale articulate up forward Link it up, tighten up those quads, adductors, tall up at the top. Roll down, C curve, come off those sit bones, off that tailbone, one little vertebrae at a time. Band in front, roll down. So many options right there. 
inhale exhale up tall find that connection of that belly in almost like you're vacuuming almost like you're vacuuming in the vacuum kind of went right up through that belly and extend over lengthen up find that breath tall activate through that powerhouse sink and roll band in the front and roll down one yeah should be one more inhale exhale up chin tilt head lift follow lift up band extend and roll forward 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 roll up roll down Band in front. Nice job. Leg in. Band in. Okay, so um, I have it around my left leg, and I'm going to hold it with my right. Okay? Have it around my left. Hold the band with my right. As the leg comes up, I'm going to put my hand behind. Now I'm going to hold, and I'm going to rotate deeper. So I'm going to use the band to pull up into this rotation. Now, you may have pulled up a little bit too high because now I want to take that leg and press eight and hold and seven. Stay up, stay up, stay up. And six, stay rotated. And five, press. And four, press, lengthen, get some activity. Three, in those legs. Two, a little deeper rib to hip here. And one, bring it home. Other side. Knees. And home. So up you go. Hand comes up. Rotate towards it. Pull up into it. Pull up into it. Into that rotation and press away. Ooh. Ten. And nine. And eight. Stay up. Stay rotating. Six, activate those legs. And five, four, three, two, and one. And home. All right. So no, no band for a second. Legs go up. Hold them here. Try to lengthen them. Put some power into them. Now chin tilt, head lift. Take the hand behind the head. <sighs> Lengthen one leg down. Hold it. Now, as you rotate, lift that leg up. 10 and nine. You're rotating to the straight leg that stays up. And eight and seven and six, five, four and three. Two and one. Hold it there. Rotate down. There we go. And ten. Nine. Eight. Pull those legs away from each other. Seven. Rib to hip into that powerhouse. Six. Five. It's not about the arms bringing you up. Four. Torso. Powerhouse. Three. Exhale. Through that breath. Two. More and home. Knees to chest and a little wiggle. Release it all the way out and extend and extend. Down by the sides. Nice open collarbone. Allow yourself to melt here for just a few seconds. Inhaling and exhaling. And release it. Bring the knees into the chest. A little wiggle. Roll up. 
and over into that long mermaid. Up and around, mermaid other side. See, so sit, stretch it across. Nice job, ladies. Fantastic work. Enjoy the heck out of your day. Get a walk in, get some activity outside this weekend, get some vitamin D, all that fabulous stuff. Enjoy. Remember movement heals. And that honestly, we're just we're we're looking to perform life better. Thanks so much for coming. Bye.